Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 15. That is how to test web applications. Let me answer. First of all, let's understand what exactly are the web applications. Any application that runs on the browser is nothing but a web application. For example, Amazon.com, Facebook.com, Wikipedia.org, Flipkart.in. All these are examples of the applications which are running on the browser. Hence, they are web applications. For example, if I open Wikipedia.org in one of the browser, let's say Chrome browser, I am opening the Wikipedia.org. Okay. So this application, since it is running on the browser, okay, since this application is running on the browser, it is a web application. Okay. It's a web application. You don't have to download or install any software in order to use this. Okay, you don't have to download or install this application to use this application, right? Simply in any of the browser, hit the URL of the application. You can start accessing and using the application, guys. Okay, there is no downloading and installing required. Now, guys, how to test web applications? How to test web applications? We can perform different types of testing on the web applications. It can be API testing, functional testing, compatibility testing, UI testing, automation, performance, security, and all the other types of testing are also possible. We can test this web applications in different ways. So in which which situations we have to perform different types of testing, I'm going to explain now. Okay, for example, why do why do we do API testing? Okay, so it's it will uh, it is very beneficial guys to perform API testing on the web applications because you see after writing the program after the developers write the or develop the application code for this particular web applications okay for building the ui okay for for creating and designing ui and building the ui on, on the top of this developed application code it may take some time okay so so you cannot wait until the ui of the application is ready and then perform testing right so just to save time guys what we generally do is we start with the api testing guys okay so before the UI of this application, for example, if I take to you to this particular application, you see UI of this application is now is ready. Actually, you can see uh, you can see the search box field. You can see this button. You see UI user interface is ready for accessing this application. But in some cases, you see what happens is developers will write the code, but to build this kind of UI, it will take some time. It will take a lot of time to build the UI on the top of the developed application code by the developers. So as software testers, we cannot be ideal, right? Till the UI of the application is ready, we cannot be ideal. So to be proactive and to perform testing in advance, what we'll do is we'll perform API testing, guys. Okay. We'll test the API calls of the application. Okay. We can test the API calls of the application. So I'll take you to one website, guys. Uh, Request.in. Okay. So request uh, request response dot in. In simple words, that is. Okay. You see, this kind of APIs will be provided to you by the Developers, okay. This kind of APIs will be provided to you by the developers. Like you see, a lot of get get requests are there, uh, post requests, post patch, different type of uh, API requests are there here. Okay. So here, this is a API call, and this is the response we are getting. So when someone uh, triggers this API request, okay, a API users page two, the page two, the users list in the page two should come. You see, all the list of users should come. Does this particular response have any UI? Does this request or response? You see, if I click on this, we'll see a proper request. Okay. So this is the request, guys, and this is the response we are getting. Okay. When you hit this request, you are getting this response. Does it have any functional UI part? No, right? It's functioning, but it doesn't have any UI, guys. Such kind of requests and responses, whether we are hitting the proper request and for the proper request, whether you are getting a proper response or not, we check. Okay. Without waiting for the UI of the application to be ready, okay, we'll perform this API testing. So so that uh, you know right uh, the time will be time won't be wasted guys okay testing will be properly utilized we'll have a lot of time for testing also after that guys let's say at some point of time after uh, when the ui is not ready you performed api testing and later at some point of time the ui also is ready okay the application ui is also ready like this for example application ui is also ready like this for example in that case we can start the uh, functional testing along with ui guys okay so we can uh, uh, test whether the here in API testing also functional testing is performed guys indirectly without UI we have tested the functionality of the application using API testing. But once the user interface of this application is ready, okay, we can test next level UI guys. Okay, next le level functional testing we can perform. Okay, whether 
we can check whether all the functionalities of this application are working or not like login functionality register functionality search functionality placing an order or not like that we will test whether each and every functionality of this application is working fine or not okay whatever the application functionalities that are in scope for your testing okay sometimes what happens is uh, in a project you don't have to test the entire functionality guys the client may ask you to test only a particular area of the application okay if the application is very complex you may not have to test each and everything in this application guys only whatever that is scope for you that only you have to test for example if search functionality is in your scope you can only test the search functionality of the application if the application is kind of complex and very big and if you have to test the home page of the application yeah you can test only the home page guys so only the functionalities that are in scope are they working or not are they working fine or not and also they are according to the specified requirements or not okay the functionalities you are testing are actually working for example if you click on login and if you give the valid credentials and click on login are you able to login or not that is functional testing not only that guys not only that uh, as per the requirements uh, these functionalities are designed and developed by the developers or not okay that also important if the uh, if email address password and login button should be in the same page okay are they are not okay in some cases uh, if you go to gmail or something right email address password will be in different pages okay first it will ask for the email address when you click next it will ask for the password okay so it depends on the design and requirements right how the login functionality should be there so ultimately guys as part of functional testing we are going to check whether the functionalities okay that that are in scope for testing are working properly or not and also are they according to the specified requirements or not we'll check if they are not according to the requirements or they are not working properly what we'll do we'll report the defects to the developers okay we have to report the defects to the developers and those particular defects need to be fixed by the developers okay we are indirectly contributing to the quality of the software by reporting such defects to the developers and uh, developers need to fix the defects and again once they fix the defects we are the one who has to again retest the defects and approve and approve whether uh, the defects have been really fixed or not okay when you really approve them you see ultimately the quality of the software will be improved from the previous state to the next level okay so once the problems in the application software are reduced ultimately the application will become stable and the quality of the application will be good guys okay and as part of this functional testing guys we also check the end user flows okay it's not just checking whether login functionality is working and all okay so end user flows will be like log into the application search for a product add the product to the cart okay after adding the product to the cart uh, then um, check out that product make the payment and place the order okay like this all these steps we have to check guys in real time how the users will use the application end to end flows okay end to end flows we have to check guys so that we'll perform as part of functional testing okay so fine not only functional testing guys we have to perform compatibility testing compatibility testing also plays a major role in web application testing because if this particular application is working only in chrome browser that doesn't that is not what is expected guys okay it should work in all the other supported browsers there are a lot of popular browsers available in the market apart from chrome browser like firefox browser is there okay edge browser is there ie browser is there safari is there opera is there like many different popular browsers are there in all the popular browsers available in the market is the application working or not we have to test okay so that comes into compatibility testing guys not just browsers guys for example in windows machine in windows machine we have uh, we can use different browsers like chrome firefox ie okay edge opera like that we can use different popular browsers similarly if you go to mac machine again you have chrome browser firefox browser safari browser in mac in linux machine again we have the other supported browsers right so not just testing this application only in windows machine of these browsers but also we may have to test the same application again again and again in different browsers in different operating system not only operating systems guys in supported browsers in different operating in the laptops or machines having the different operating system and also we have to test this uh, web applications not only in this uh, browsers and operating system but also in different devices you see in if you if you just check your mobile phone guys it may be android phone or it and it can be apple for on it can be ipad or it can be you know right and different type of devices are there in all the devices there will be browsers guys okay in all those browsers we are uh, the application is working fine or not okay the application is working fine or not we have to test so that 
the compatibility testing plays a major role in any type of application guys okay for web applications also the compatibility testing is important guys okay so just testing in one environment is not uh, enough you have to test in all the supported environments it can be uh, different browsers can be different operating systems it can be different devices altogether okay then we also have to perform ui testing guys okay user interface is also important are there any spelling mistakes okay is any particular text overlapping with any other elements any element is overlapping with any elements or not okay the look and feel of this application page is good or not and all those stuff guys alignment is good or not okay properly the fields on this application page are properly aligned or not is this application page responsive or not okay we can change the you see i'll do one thing like this okay so i'll change the response you see i'll just uh, drag it like this you see still i can use the application you see responsiveness this is called as responsiveness guys okay when i maximize you see it will some other things are coming so this responsiveness of the application is fine or not so as per the requirements uh, the height and width of these elements is correct or not okay the color combination is correct or not like that many ui checklist will be there it is very big big checklist will be there for ui testing guys for as part of web application testing we also have to perform ui testing okay and automation testing guys okay so you see every time we report some defects the developers will be fixing and again we have to perform the testing from start to end guys okay every time uh, the application code changes again we have to test the complete functionality of the application from starting to end that takes a lot of time okay the testers will be, be will become very busy no matter how many resources you allocate to the application the process of testing will become difficult over a period of time because you are testing from starting to end okay testing from starting to end with small application changes okay version one of the software you have to test version two of the software again you have to test so every time instead of testing like this guys we can automate the regression test okay we can automate the regular general day-to-day -day tested regular uh, regression test so that what happens is automation tool will save a lot of time for you and uh, you as software testers can focus on the burning issues in the application okay while the automation testing is uh, doing is taking care of uh, 60 to 70 percent of per percent of the testing 30 percent of the focus you can put on the important burning things that are happening in the application like new functionalities added to the application new changes happen to the application like that you can focus your testing on while automation testing will take off take care of the testing of the regular functionalities okay like login logout it will take care regression test will be automated so we can use different automation tools like selenium automation is very popular in the market for uh, performing uh, for automating the web applications guys and it is also free and open source so people use uh, a lot of people use uh, selenium kind of automation tools for automating the web applications then performance testing guys okay you see uh, not just the functionality of the application and ui and all those stuff guys but also performance of the application also need to be important okay we have to test the performance of the application why why because you see in real time many people will be using the application okay one two one two people won't be using the application in real time many users across the world will be accessing our application so in real world conditions maybe there may be for example if you take amazon.com or something uh, like lakhs of people will be using around the globe every day right so a lot of transactions will happen on amazon so such kind of applications if you have to test you have to test the performance of the application because whether as part of a performance testing guys you have to check whether the application is able to handle the real time user load that many number of users accessing it is it possible or not okay that we have to test without compromising the speed guys if if you type amazon.com here you type amazon.com here if it is taking too much time to load on the browser that's not a good thing okay despite of so many people accessing this application the application should load fast for you okay that's what is required that we can test as part of performance testing guys and uh, there's one more testing that is secure testing that is also important you see no you see this kind of applications amazon.com or amazon.in whatever the applications you are testing okay whatever the web applications you are testing they should be very secure right no other person should know about your credentials and uh, you see when i try to create an account the sec proper security measures are there you see uh, you see password standards are there this password must be at least six characters it is saying proper password um, uh, complexity standards are being maintained or not so all this stuff matters guys okay whether the application is secured or not for example you see here amazon.com you see there is a certificate installed in this application so whether the uh, whether whatever the sensitive information you are provided like credit card or social security number or whatever it is whatever the details you are entering in this application the when the the sensitive data is transferring over the network to this amazon server 
for the HTTP protocol and all, the third party person should not be able to know your details. Okay, all these are possible. All these things should be taken care, guys. Okay, so we have to test whether the application is secured in all ways, all possible ways, and proper security measures are taken, like complex password, security certificate is installed, and all those stuff should be taken care, guys. Okay, it's a vast subject, guys, altogether, so that. By performing the security testing, we are avoiding the security uh, security attacks. Okay, hackers will try to perform some security hacks. Okay, they may sell, send some false traffic to the applications. They may try to steal your account details, all those stuff. Okay, so whether the application is able to tackle all that security attacks or not. Okay, that's what is all about security testing, guys. It will reveal all the problems in advance case, all the security loopholes in in the application in advance. It will reveal when you perform security tests. And ultimately, when those problems, security loopholes are fixed by the developers, the application will become kind of secure. So not only these guys, we can perform other types of testing. A lot of testings are there like uh, smoke, sanity and all, which I cannot explain in the single answer for this question. But uh, these are the major ones, okay? So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. And uh, in the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye.